Welcome back and in today's video I'll be guiding you through the process on how you can add languages to the keyboard on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. So start by opening the settings app then you want to scroll and select the option general management. From here tap on Samsung keyboard settings then you should see the option languages and types. Tap on it then tap on manage input languages so to add languages to the keyboard it's fairly simple you have two sections you have the downloaded languages section which is the languages that have already been pre-downloaded and all you need to do to add them to your keyboard is simply tap on the keyboard on the toggle and you have the second section which is the available languages sections. So this is where you can download any other language packs that you don't already have in your downloads list. So for example, if I want to add Afrikaans to my keyboard, I can just tap on the download option here, wait for the language pack to be installed onto my phone. And when I scroll up, you can see the toggle is even enabled, which means it's been added onto my keyboard. So you can add up to four languages on the Samsung keyboard, because that's the maximum it supports. If you want to switch out the language, say for example, you want to remove Arabic and you want to put something different, such as Bengali, then you just tap on the toggle, turn it off, and then come tap on the toggle to turn on for Bengali. And now you'll notice in the languages and types section, you have the main screen and cover screen. So languages that you add to the keyboard on your main screen will also be the same languages that you add to the keyboard on your cover screen. So you can see all the languages in the main screen are the same ones in the cover screen. Alternatively, if you've chosen to use the Gboard on your phone, then the process is slightly different. So again, in your general management settings, you can tap on Gboard settings, or you can go to the Gboard app to open the settings menu. So in your Gboard settings, you should see the option labeled languages, tap on it. Then from here, to add a language or to add a keyboard, tap on add keyboard, and then you can choose to scroll through this uh, list of languages, or you can just tap on the search option and type in the language that you want to add. So add as many la languages as you want, and you'll notice with each language you're trying to add, you have different language styles, to sorry, keyboard styles for you to choose from. So I have the QWERTY, I have this handwriting, and I have this QWERTS. It's up to you to decide how you want your keyboard to be displayed. Then when you're done selecting your keyboard and its style, tap on done to add it to your uh, languages. So you can add as many languages as you want. Um, and then Once you've added all the languages, you can now exit the app. So from here, switching between languages is fairly simple. If you're using the Gboard, then you'll notice you have this globe icon at the bottom of your keyboard. So you want to long press on that globe icon and it will give you the language list that allows you to switch between the different keyboard languages. So currently I'm set to English, but if I want to switch to Italian, I can tap on Italian and I'll switch almost immediately. So now I'll be starting to use Italian. But if you're using the Samsung keyboard, then the process is exactly the same. You see this globe icon, simply long press on it to bring up this language list. And then from here, you can just scroll down to select the language you want to use. So say for example, I want to use Bengali, I would just highlight it and select it like that. And now I'll be using the Bengali keyboard. If you want to switch back to a different language, say you want to go back to English, long press on the icon, select the English, and then you can tell you've switched back to your previous language. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.